Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert the recurring decimals into fractions. Actually, we have two methods to solve or, or express the recurring decimals into fractions. First is by uh, algebra tricks and then another one, we will use the geometry progressions. But in this video, we are going to use the algebra tricks uh, to express the recurring decimals into fractions. So, first of all, you have to identify out okay, the number which are keep on repeating. So, what you see here, 0 0.212121. So, the number 21 are keep on repeating. Right or not? Okay, so next, okay, you have to let okay, our end Okay, B 0.212121 Okay, so with this next step, you have to get the two equations, right? First equations, you must make sure that your first part of your recurring number is in front of your decimal point, right? So in this case, you must move your decimal point to the back one and two, okay? Two step behind. So in order to do this, you have to multiply by 100. Two places going to the back, so you times two zero. So it's 100. Then what we can see here now becomes, okay, 100 and equals to 21.21. Two, one and so on okay then this will be our first equations so next one next equations you need to form another one right with the first part of your uh, recurring number at the back of your decimal point so you can see you have this already right uh, the first part of your recurring number here is at the back of your decimal point so we can make this as your okay we can make this as your second equations so this is n equals to 0 0.2121 and so on so now do you notice that the numbers at the back of the decimal points here is matching right or not are they matching right so that means we can subtract or remove all the numbers behind the decimals by subtractions. So let us see here. So we do the minus, do the subtractions, right? So 100 n, take away n, you will get 99 n. So our 99 n then equals to, you see here, all the numbers behind the decimal points, you can remove away, right? cancel on because they are matching they are the same so then we will get 21 so now n is 21 over 99 okay so here we can simplify it by divided by 3 so when you divide it by 3 you will get 7 over 33 so we get the we have expressed the recurring decimals into fractions. So that's it. Hope. Uh, thanks for uh, watching this video. That's all.